Welcome to Space News Network. This is your SpaceX update for the week of August 27th to September 2nd. We start things off this week on August 28th, when the Falcon 9 first stage, which helped carry the Formosat 5 spacecraft to orbit on August 24th, pulled into the port of Los Angeles to be unloaded off of the drone ship. After arriving in port, SpaceX fans managed to get very good pictures of the booster, really showing how great of condition that this stage is in. This stage definitely makes it a candidate for reflight in the future. Next up on August 31st, Elon announced over Twitter that SpaceX is putting together a rocket landing blooper reel, which will show us all of the failures they have had trying to perfect the first stage landing. We're hoping for some great new footage of the failed landings because who are we kidding? Who doesn't like a good rocket explosion? As long as it's not on the way up. Also on August 31st, a person at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex noticed a screen that had a date for the first Falcon Heavy launch. Now that date is in no way official until SpaceX says something, but the date on the board was November 28th which does fit as SpaceX is currently targeting November for the first Falcon Heavy launch. And again on August 31st, Falcon 9 completed a stag fire test at, ahead of the X-37B launch currently scheduled for September 7th. The X-37B is the Air Force's secret space plane that's not exactly so secret. However, the exact orbit the spacecraft will go into is classified as well as how long it will be in orbit. And after launch, the first stage will land at Landing Zone 1 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. On September 1st, SpaceX released this video showing the final Falcon Heavy side booster undergoing testing at their rocket testing facility in McGregor, Texas. This booster actually started off as a Falcon 9 first stage, which launched the CRS-9 mission back in 2016 and has since been converted to a Falcon Heavy side booster. This is a huge milestone as the other side booster and the center core have already been tested, which means the only thing that Falcon Heavy is waiting on is for Pad 39A to be upgraded so it can support Falcon Heavy. And if you want to see the full one minute test, the link to the full video will be down in the description. And to finish off the week, also on September 1st, a SpaceX employee posted on Twitter that employees are receiving pieces from the CRS-7 and what I'm assuming also the AMO-6 mission, as September 1st marks the one year anniversary of the AMO-6 mishap, where Falcon 9 was undergoing a static fire test ahead of the launch, when a problem with the second stage resulted in the complete loss of the vehicle and payload. I think it's amazing that SpaceX is giving these out to employees to remind them that space is hard and to always make sure that safety is the number one priority. And that's it for this week. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next week.